topics anybody wants to explore today? expand 
our definition of magic. And if you're too hot and you put on your bikini or your swim trunks and you go splashing in a swimming pool, that's magic. You know, so magic is a huge uh, topic there. We're not just trying to say drugs are magic, but we're putting it in anything that you do where you give belief to the world of form and images in order to bring you into a better condition, you know, a more comfortable condition that would all be considered magic. And there's nothing wrong with it except that as you go deeper with your mind training, of course you want to get into the miracle because the miracle is what's going to eliminate the pain or the guilt or the discomfort entirely. You know, the solution is God. It's not hypnotism or mesmerism and it's not any of these other magical solutions. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi, you know, he was really good. Well, he was in prison so many years, but he wrote a lot about his vegetarianism, but he used a lot of herbal uh, cures for many things instead of uh, more like straight medicine. But those would all be magic too. And the deeper you go into it, you start to realize, hmm, okay, I'm not going to beat myself up and I'm not going to feel guilty in the least bit about using the magic. But I, if I use the magic, whatever I'm guided to use, that's beautiful. And I really want to go deeper and get at the guilt that produced the symptoms or produced the pain in the first place. Because that's going to free me from it entirely. So that I won't, in some state of some stage of my mind training, I won't need magic at all. You know, I can just <coughs> flow in the joy of the spirit, and I will transcend the need for it. But I will, I will outgrow my need for magic like a child outgrows its toys. 